Welcome to Calibre. I am Kovic Goyal, the creator of Calibre, and in this short video tutorial, I will be sharing with you some tips to optimize your usage of the Calibre user interface. This is the main Calibre user interface. In this tutorial, I will be focusing on four major areas of this interface. The first is the book list, which is this area in the center here that lists all the books in your Calibre library. The second is called the tag browser, which is this area to the left here, and it allows you to browse your collection by various categories such as authors, publishers, ratings, tags, etc. The third area is the book detail view, which is at the bottom here and shows you the book covers, the formats it is available in, comments about the book, etc. The last area is the search bar, which is up here. And the search bar allows you to find books in your Calibre collection. The first thing to note is that the individual user interface areas can be resized. So for example, I can resize the book details pane, making it smaller or larger. It can even be completely hidden by dragging it all the way to the bottom. Similarly, the tag browser can be hidden by dragging it all the way to the left. And they can be reshown by dragging the bright yellow lines towards the center of the user interface. For the moment, let's focus on the book list. As you can see, the Calibre book list has a large number of columns displaying information about your book collection. For example, title, authors, date, size, rating, etc. Now, supposing you decide you don't want to see all these columns, an individual column can be hidden by simply right-clicking on its title and choosing Hide Column. So, for example, let's hide the columns for Publisher and Published. We are left with Title, Authors, Date, Rating, Tags, and Series. If you want to rearrange the order in which these columns appear, you can do that by dragging their titles, like this. You can sort the book list on any of the visible columns simply by clicking on the column header. So for example, by clicking on rating, the books are sorted in order of decreasing rating. By clicking on series, they are sorted in series, in order of decreasing series number, and so on. Now suppose you wanted to add your own column to the Calibre book list. This can be done very easily. Just click the Preferences button, the little hammer icon up here. Then go to Interface, um, and here you see the list of columns available in the book list. The ones with ticks next to them are visible and the other ones are not. You can add your own column by clicking the plus button. The first thing to do is choose your column type. As you can see, there are a lot of types available. Text, dates, numbers, uh, ratings. For the moment, let's create a simple yes-no column. I'll use this column to indicate which books I have read and which I haven't. So let's give it a heading, red and give it a lookup name red as well. The lookup name will be used to search for the contents of that column. Click OK and when you do you get a warning saying that Calibre must be restarted before the column will show up. Once you restart Calibre, the Calibre column will show up in the corner as you can see here. Let's move the column to be between title and author like this there we have our red column. You can edit the entries in this column by simply double-clicking. Here, let's mark this book as red and this one as not red. And here's another one that we can mark as red. In this way, you see that we can create your own user-defined columns and use them to store any kind of data that you like. In this way, Calibre gives you a lot of flexibility in the way that you catalog and organize your book collection. Now let's talk a little bit about search. As the name implies, the Calibre search box allows you to search your book collection for books. Uh, for example, suppose you wanted to find uh, books by the author George R. R. Martin. Simply type in George Martin into the search box and Calibre will restrict the book list to contain only books by George Martin. You see here that there has that there is also a book by an author other than George Martin. This is because in the comments of the book, as you see down here, the name George R. R. Martin is mentioned. 
by default Calibre will search all the metadata of the book not just a specific column in order to restrict the search to only a specific column you need to use the search name of that column so put your mouse over the title of the author's column and a tooltip pops up telling you what the search name is in this case authors simply change uh, your search to contain the search name of the column and now Calibre will search only that column for Martin returning books only by George R. R. Martin now suppose that in addition to finding books by George R. R. Martin you also wanted to find books by George R. R. Martin that you have not yet read for that we can use the red column by putting the mouse over the title we see the search name is hash red so let's change the search to author Martin and hash red no and as you see the search has been restricted to only those books by George R. R. Martin that haven't been read. You can ask Caliber to remember this search for the future. Simply type in a name into the saved search box up here. So let's call it unread GRRM and click the plus icon. And that's it, the search has been remembered. As you can see in the search box, it is no longer the complicated expression. Instead, it's just search and unread GRRM. You can clear the current search, returning back to the default view by clicking the clear button. And you can access a previously saved search easily from the saved search box like this. As you can see, searches are a powerful way to find books more details on the search syntax supported by Calibre and how to use advanced search features are present in the Calibre user manual, which can be accessed by clicking the user manual link in the top right corner of the interface here. Now it is the turn of the tag browser. As you can see, the tag browser allows you to browse your book collection by various categories such as authors, series, publishers, ratings, etc. Let's look at ratings. Expanding the list, we see that uh, you get a list of all the ratings in your book collection. Suppose you wanted to see all the three-star rated books. Just click on the three-star entry, and as you can see, Calibre has restricted the book list to only books with ratings of three stars. If you click once again on the three-star entry, you get a list of books that have not been rated with three stars. So you get all the ratings except three stars. Clicking a final time on the three three star entry clears it and you get back to the list of all the books including three star books in your collection. You should note that the tag browser works by inserting searches into the search box. So in this case it has inserted the search rating 3 into the search box in order to show you all the books in your collection that have rated with three stars. You can click on multiple items in the tag browser in order to do this, hold down the shift key while you click. So for example, if I hold down the shift key and click on three stars and five stars, then I'm left with a list of books that have ratings of either three or five stars. You can use this technique to build pretty complex search queries. For example, suppose you wanted to select all the books that are by the author Isaac Asimov and that have three stars. The first thing to note is that this kind of clicking by default inserts an or, not an and. You want to change that to and, so let's change it to match all down here. Um, now we click on three stars and then we go up to authors and click Isaac Asimov holding down the shift key and there we have a list of books by Isaac Asimov that have three stars. One final tip for easily locating books in your Calibre library. Supposing you've located a book, in this case Foundation and Earth by Isaac Asimov, and you want to find similar books. Right-click on the entry in the book list and go down to Similar Books, and there you can select books by the same author and the same series, at the same tags, with the same publisher. So, for example, if you click Books in this series, you get restricted to the Foundation series, all seven books in the Foundation series. This is a quick way to find books that are similar to an already found book. Once you have located a subset of books that you are interested in, it's time to browse that subset. There are many ways you can do this in Calibre. The simplest is to simply make the book details pane larger and click through the entries in the list. As you can see in the book in the book details pane, you get to see the cover of the book as well as a summary. The summary is the same as would traditionally be found on the book jacket of a paper book. You can make the book details pane pop out by clicking anywhere in the pane. 
it then becomes a standalone window which you can use to browse through the subset once you find a book that you feel like reading say in this case foundation and earth you simply close the window and you see that that book is selected in the main caliber user interface on the other hand if you believe in judging a book by its cover you can click the browse by cover button in caliber which is this button right here and Calibre will pop up a window showing you all the covers of your selection and you can scroll through this list of covers and pick a book by a cover that happens to catch your eye. Note that by default Calibre will show a much smaller window for these covers. There is a preference setting that you can set to have a larger version which is right here under interface you select show cover browser in a separate window and select OK and in this case Calibre will then show your covers in a larger separate window. Now that I have demonstrated the major features of the Calibre user interface I will leave you with a couple of tips that demonstrate Calibre's flexibility. The first is user categories. User categories means the ability to add your own categories to the tag browser right here. In order to do this simply click the manage user categories button a little dialog opens up. The first thing you do is choose a category filter so let's say authors and let's say I want to create a category called favorite authors so let's type in the category name then click the little plus button and the category gets all added now we choose some authors so let's let me choose some authors at random and click the right arrow and there you have your a list of your favorite authors click OK and you see that in the tag browser the favorite authors category has been created you can you can open it and get a list of your favorite authors. In this way you can create your own categories that give you fast access to commonly used items. Just as in the book list you could hide columns by right clicking on them, in the tag browser you can hide categories by right clicking on them. So here I choose to hide the category publishers. Another convenient feature of the tag browser is that it allows bulk renaming. So for example, um, if I was under the mistaken impression that the series Waldemar is spelled with two A's instead of one, all I need to do is right click on it and say rename, change it to two A's, and you will see that in Calibre all the instances of the series Waldemar have been changed to have two A's. The last feature I will show you today is restrictions. Restrictions allow you to work with a subset of your complete library. This is particularly useful if you have a very large collection of books. For example, if I wanted to work with only the books that I'd added to Calibre in May, I would create first a search date greater than April 2010, and you see that Calibre has restricted the set of books to books that were created, that were added to Calibre in May. The next step is to save this search, so let's save it to recent books. And there we have a search recent books. Um, we can now restrict Calibre to this set of books by using the restrict to box here and choose recent books. And you see that Calibre has been restricted to this set of three books even though the search field is now clear. Another interesting side effect is that in the tag browser you only have three authors, the authors corresponding to three, three books, one series, because only one of these books has a series and so on. In other words, the tag browser has also been restricted to this has been restricted by this restriction. When a restriction is an operation, you can you know that because this area of the user interface here becomes bright yellow and tells you that it is displaying some number of a total of three books that are in this restriction. So for example, if I were to click an item in the tag browser, it would then show me matches that are within this restriction only. This is very useful if you have a large collection and you want to work on a subset of it. That's all for today. I hope these tips help you get the most out of your Calibre collection.